Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to review a bag that, unbox a bag rather, that I have not unboxed in a really long time. Gucci. You guys know I used to be the biggest fan of Gucci. It was probably my first design brand that I really started to love. Um, but I kind of got obsessed with it and then, you know when you do something too much, you sort of get off it a little bit so i've been off it for a few years now i've got this bag in that i think you guys will appreciate it was one of the biggest hits um to come out of gucci for a really long time are you guys ready Ta -da! it's the marmont i know what you're saying guys i know what you're saying you're sitting at home going naomi that bag is so old why are you reviewing this i know i know the reason is because I've been wanting to do a review on this style bag for a while, particularly the cream colored one. So let's talk through the details. Firstly, I love this color. The black is my ultimate, absolutely love the black. I actually wore mine to absolute death and mine was the size larger than this. So mine was, I believe the 20, 26 centimeter. So the, class, the old classic flap style um, size. Uh, and this one I believe is a 23. So it's a little or 20 or 23 centimeter so it is a smaller size bag really great if you're wanting something small if you're going to a picnic or a brunch or you're going walking around the markets because of the crossbody factor of course let's have a look at some of the details here we've got the beautiful gg logo this color gold is exceptional it is not too yellow it's not too orange it is just perfect it's that antique gold style that gucci have um, and then uh, there's the chain beautiful weighty chain also in an amazing color as well as the loops front and back on the back there is the heart as well the leather is also exceptional guys it feels beautiful supple a really beautiful leather exactly how it should feel nothing on the bottom you guys know it comes with the two seams here it's got the um, really interesting push latch you can see there when I push it uh, it releases the mechanism and then the top just has the little domey thing sort of like a little nipple and then the inside is this kind of flesh colored suede fabric you can kind of see suede feels absolutely beautiful and then we've got the leather tag as well and there's also a code behind it inside the actual bag there is nothing but that slip pocket in the back i believe the size larger has a zipper pocket in the, in the back um, as well and um, but this one doesn't have it obviously because of the size i would say this is um, a large mini size small to mini but really i would say large to mini and there you have it this is the famous marmont bag in this beautiful off-white color um, i would say it's not a cream it's not a gray it really is a white but it's a warm white um, and it's an off-white uh, and i've sort of got a beige really pale beige jumper on and you can sort of see it kind of matches it perfectly okay remember guys that if you want details on this bag or any of the bags you see behind me you need to subscribe to my magazine all my secrets are in there for very good reason so i'll leave a link somewhere on screen also in the description box down below all right we are going to compare this bag with a few bags the first comparison i want to do is with my chanel flat bag this is the small size of the pearl flat bag. So this is, I think, a, a 19 or a 20 centimeter bag. It is a mini bag, this one. This is um, basically similar sizing to the Mini Kelly. I will show that one next as well so you guys can get a comparison. But to see them side by side, that it is a lot bigger. You know, the Gucci is a lot bigger. Um, and you can see it's also bigger on the side slightly, but it is noticeable. And then the most difference you can see is the base. Now I will say that the Chanel feels a lot puffier. So the room inside it is not as large as what you would think. Whereas the Gucci is not super puffy, even though it looks it, the leather is quite on the thin side. So what that means is um, thin, I don't mean weak. I just mean that there isn't a lot of puff. 
so when you actually open it up there's quite a bit of room whereas when you open up this one because of the puffiness of the quilt it's actually a lot smaller than what you imagine so when you have a look at it from the outside you think oh yeah it's kind of similar to the gucci marmont no it is not similar to the gucci marmont um, i think maybe twice larger the capacity of this gucci marmont compared to this little flat bag okay so the next bag i want to compare as mentioned i wanted to do the mini kelly my favorite mini kelly the magnolia color um, and you can see here that the mini kelly is small in comparison it is really small remember the top part of the mini kelly is unusable because it goes up in that triangle fashion uh, and then we'll have a look the base so you can see the difference here is quite a bit um, I think what we need to do is actually compare this bag to maybe the small 19 uh, so you guys can have a really good comparison and maybe even a classic flap all right so let's compare this to the Chanel 19 here is my pearl version absolutely love the finish of this bag um, the pearl finish I have to say I get so many questions about the pearl finish and it was one of those things that you kind of wish you bought at the time because now it's really hard to find. The pearl finish is really hard to find on some bags, um, particularly the Trendy CC. So yeah, kind of like one of those things that if you really love it, you should really buy it at the time. This is the 19 in the small, you can see there. So it's in between a mini size and a small size. You can sort of see the Gucci bag is a fair bit smaller than the 19. So it is a really interesting size. You can see there, what a difference. So the 19 is a normal small size bag and this is probably a large mini bag or a small, small bag, if that makes sense. Hopefully that gives you a good comparison. This might be actually the closest comparison and it's the new flat bag, classic flap uh, from Chanel. This one is, I believe, the 23 centimeter. So the sizing is gonna be really, really similar. Um, this one is quite boxy just because of the structure, but I'm gonna show you guys in a moment. So sizes are super comparable, really, really comparable. You can see there, the sides are nearly identical. And I'm gonna show you the base. I mean, these bags are nearly identical, guys. Like. The sizing is identical. Um, this one's also got a structured body. This one's a bit softer. So I actually think even though it looks slightly larger, the capacity is probably gonna be the same. I absolutely love this bag, by the way, guys. I am in love with this color. I find it super unusual. It's like a dusty, purpley pink color. Um, and I absolutely love it with the gold hardware as well just to show you guys the color up front i don't know if this color came across well in the video because of the lights and the editing that we do in post-production i felt like it doesn't really give it justice this bag but it's really like a mauvey a mauvey dusty mauve kind of a color all right now the last comparison i want to do is a very special one and it is the Gucci Marmont in the top handle. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the leather. I'm gonna put them way up close to see if you guys can see. I, I think the leathers are identical. I cannot spot any difference in the leather whatsoever. They're absolutely identical, guys. They even feel the same. The shine is the same. The texture, it's a really fine texture up close. They're both the same unbelievable unbelievable the next thing we're going to compare are these gg logos now these are identical as well the only difference and there's only a very slight difference there's a slight difference in color but um, i don't think that's probably realistic to say that they're different i have been in the gucci store and i have seen these bags with slightly different color golds so if yours is slightly different, I wouldn't necessarily think that it's a fake. So the first thing I will show you is the black 
um, there's black where the overlap the G and the G there's actually a little bit of black mark underneath um, and that's a little bit strong um, so I will show you guys this one I don't know if you can see that the black um, is just a little bit strong on this one Remember guys to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do two videos a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays and also head to my Instagram. I'm super prominent over there as well and follow me. I am super prominent. I do uh, giveaways, polls and a lot more over there as well. All right, let's head into the mod shots now. I decided to wear a light outfit today uh, with some brown leggings so that um, you guys can see this bag Th this is how i'd probably wear it you know during winter with a big fluffy knit or something like that um and there are a few ways to wear this bag um obviously you can hand hold this and wear it like a clutch under the arm the strap does not come off but that's okay sometimes the dangling effect is you know what people like when they're holding bags i know i have a few bags like that particularly like my pearl ones um so you can hand hold it you can also do it on the shoulder and this was one of the first um i thought great inventions that came out of designer bags when you saw this double strap thing i know the classic flap might have been the first to do it this double um, section but it means that you can wear it on the shoulder if you want to and you can also wear it crossbody by just dropping one of the straps down. I will show you this crossbody on the shoulder first so you can see the drop and see how low it hangs. And then I will show you it crossbody. Now, crossbody for me and this style is my absolute favorite way to wear it. I just find this bag so simple. It just crossbodies so nicely. It sits against the body nicely. It doesn't feel uncomfortable or boxy in any way like the classic flap does. Um, I really find this style quite magical when it comes to um, cross bodies. Even walking through the markets or at a festival or, you know, going to the supermarket. I mean, it's just an easy, easy bag to wear. So cross body is my absolute favorite. Uh, I am a shorty as well, guys, so you can see um, it does hang below the waist. Uh, sort of on the hip so keep that in mind if you guys are taller than me it's probably going to come shorter on you um, and if you're shorter than me it might come longer doubt it because not a lot of people are shorter than me <laughs> um, so and I'm also a bigger girl as well so if you are a more petite girl then it's going to drop lower right so just keep those things in mind okay there you have it guys the Gucci Marmont in this off-white color absolutely stunning um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time in my next video. Bye for now.